greatest wedge players in the world have a similarity to the impact. And what I see with really poor wedge players is the common golfer, they're getting back, as we mentioned, in a full swing, and their club head and chipping, right hand is always passing the left. The shaft is moving independently of the arms. And what, again, I love about the secret grip is I feel like once I set the club head with my hands going back, and I feel like I'm actually using the weight of the secret grip. And then from here, I feel like the secret grip leads the impact. And you'll notice the finish that the shaft in the left arm or lead arm are in line. You see that the club head is not passing. With weight in the end of the grip, it helps me to accelerate the handle and it looks more like this. The image is a little set and then you feel like the hands are leading the whole way and you'll notice that I'm hitting down on the ball beautifully, but look at the finish position of the little wedge. You see that what's happening here, the shaft is leading the way to the club head. That gives me consistency. The best short game players in the world look like that. You look at Phil Mickelson, you look at uh, Trevino, you look at the best wedge players and you will always see their hands lead. I have a much better awareness with my secret grip of the hands, which is so important to lead and hit these little wedge shots. Really work on that with the concept of the hands leading and even your post impact, you'll notice this shaft in the lead arm, it's abbreviated. It doesn't have to be a full finish when you're hitting little wet shots. So make sure when you're hitting these shots, you're not going like this. I'm not hitting a full shot that's high. I'm hitting a little lower trajectory that has control and it's back and it's through and I feel like the hands are leading. And I've got a lot of control of that wedge. It's a great image to have and it's a great thing to think about when you're hitting wedge shots.